so hello everyone in the previous video we discussed about hdfs in this video we will discuss about map reduce so let's just start about that so map reduce was designed by google as a programming model for processing large data set with a parallel distributed algorithm on a cluster so map reduce was originally google priority technology it has been quite a generalized term in the recent time map reduce compromise and comprise two functions First one is map and another is reduce. The procedure map perform filtering and sorting operation on data whereas procedure reduce perform a summary operation of the data. This model is based on modified concept of the map and reduce function com commonly available in function programming. The library where produce procedure map and reduce belongs is written in many different languages such as Java, Python and etc. The most popular free implementation of MapReduce is Apache Hadoop which we will explore next day. So what is the advantages and the MapReduce processor before that we have to understand that what how the flow is going on. Suppose in the input we are having dog cat rat car car rat and dog car cat these are the in my input file. So what happening first this big file will be split into some small junk files. So suppose it is splitting into three different different file in the first file the first row is going in the second file second row is going in the third file third row is going so after what happening that mapping will started by using map function so what happened it is going to count that do dog and it is giving the number one it means in this one dog comes one cat comes one rat comes one again they will do mapping the second and third file respectively after that they will start to shuffle it so all they will start to shuffle and to check according to the algorithm and they are going to collect each and every type of the similar value into the same junk file so from this one the dog comes into that one and from the third junk file dog will come here it's like that dog will store at one place car will store at the second place cat will store in the third and the rat will store in the fourth one after that reduce will reduce function will start it in this procedure that the, they will start and count it so dog comes two so dog comma two it means dog comes two times and all the things they will suffer and they will reduce it accordingly after that they will compress and give the detail value into the final a result that car comes three times cat comes two times dog comes two times a rat comes two times so this is the workflow of map and reduce function after that we have to understand that what is the advantage of using map reduce procedure so the map reduce procedure framework usually contains distributed servers and it runs various tasks in parallel to each other there are various components which manages the communication between various nodes of the data and provides the high availability and fault tolerance. Programs are written in map, map reduce functions styles and automatically paralyzed and executed on commodity ma machines. The map reduce framework takes care of the details of partitioning and the data and executing the process on distributed server on runtime. Due to that, during this process, if there is any disaster is happening in the framework, that then it provides high availability and other available nodes take care of the responsibility of the failure node. So as you can clearly understand and see that uh, more th this entire framework provides much more than, than just only map and reduce procedure. It provides scalability and fault tolerance as well as. So a typical implementation of map reduce framework processes many pentabytes of data and thousands of the process machine at a time. So how do map reduce framework work? So let's go back and let's discuss once again that uh, how map procedure one, uh, work once again to just rewind it. So there is always a master node in this infrastructure which takes an input. Right after taking input master nodes divided into a smaller subunits and uh, sub problems. These sub problems are distributed to worker nodes. A worker nodes later processes them and does necessary analysis. Once the worker node completes the process with this sub problem it returns back to the master node. And uh, in the reduce procedure all the worker node returns the answer. To the sub problem assigned to them to master node the master node collects the answer and once again aggregated that in the form of the answer to the original big problem which was assigned master node the map reduce framework does the above map and reduce procedure in the parallel and independent to each other all the map procedure can run parallel to each other and once each worker node had completed their task they can send it back to master node and the master code to compile it with a single answer. So this pro particular procedure can be very effectively when it is implemented on the very large amount of the data. So we can understand into five simple steps that first input reader, then map function, then partition function, then compare function, then 
reduce function and in last output the writer so if we ask that in the single statement how to describe map reduce so map reduce is equivalent to select and group by of a relational database for a very large database so in the next video we'll discuss about sql terms till that please subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe it and comment down if you're having any problem to understanding this concept till that thanks